said yes have you done that a man came seeking god and he came to a savior looking for understanding in john chapter 3 verse 2 the condemnments came by night after the end of busy day to be hidden by darkness to have a time alone with the master in any case he came respectfully because of the sign that he saw Jesus Christ was performing Jesus answered truly truly I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God in John chapter 3 verse 3 born again is perfectly good phrase describing salvation he cannot see the kingdom of God the born again is God's only plan of salvation. Contrary to popular thought, there are not many ways to heaven. There is only one way to heaven, and that is born away. You must be born again for you to enter the kingdom of God. You must be born again for you to be saved. Number two, Jesus answered. How can a man be born again when he's old? Surely, no physical birth by his mother, but being born of water and spirit. Except a man be born of water and spirit, Jesus Christ says in John chapter 3 verse 5, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This was caused as cause of debate, but you see Jesus explained in his sentence. He said that which is born of flesh is flesh, that which is born of spirit is spirit. What is good here with the body? Not the water baptism in John chapter 7 verse 37 to 39. There is only one plan of salvation, not many, and that is a man may burst again for him to enter into the kingdom of God. You see, or as the Old Testament says, we are saved. They were not baptized. The thief on the cross will never baptize. If you have to be baptized to be saved, you will never be saved. Or Jesus will be a liar. For Jesus Christ is not a liar. The Bible says, let every man be a liar and God be the truth. If water baptism is required, then Jesus Christ then was not necessary. Jesus was only necessary to be baptized and then he should be ascended to heaven. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 3 verse 7, Marvel not I say to you, ye must be born again. Born again is necessary. These are the terms and conditions that Jesus Christ gives to us. Do you understand what Jesus Christ said? He said to the Nicodemus, a man must be born again before he can enter into the kingdom of God. And said to be born again, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said, as Moses lived up the serpent in the wilderness, so is the man of God. Whoever look upon him, we believe. Whoever believe on him, we be saved. So please come to Jesus today for you to have eternal life. Without Jesus Christ, there's no way any man, any woman can have eternal life. The Bible says, whoever believes in him may have that eternal life in John chapter 3, verse 15. And those who believe Moses on that look up to that separate name. Jesus commanded for us to be saved. We must believe in him. In John 3, 16, start with 4. We must believe what Jesus Christ done for us over 2,000 years ago for us to be saved. Here is an invitation for you today. The need to be born again was necessary for everyone of us, for the Republicans, for tax collectors, for Harlots, even the best of mankind need to be born again for them to be saved. Yes, Nicodemus was a good man, but yet Jesus Christ said to him, Nicodemus, in order for you to be saved, you must be born again. So the message is, a bit of that, Jesus' message is clear. You must be born again. Friends, God have never changed. What the Lord Jesus said to Nicodemus over 2,000 years ago, is he saying to him and you today, you must be born again for you to enter into the kingdom of God. Unless one be born again, they cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Have you been born again? If not, I encourage you to do it right now. You cannot receive Jesus Christ by taking communion. You cannot receive Jesus Christ by being baptized. You cannot receive Jesus Christ by joining a church. You cannot receive Jesus Christ by your woman effort. You cannot receive Jesus Christ by faith. You must trust the finished work of cross. Jesus Christ done for us over 2,000 years ago. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Pray. If you are not born again, you can receive Jesus Christ to the point to be born again. Simple made this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. 
I repent and turn away from that and now accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me and paying for that sin penalty price. I pray this in your name. Amen. I guarantee you Jesus will save you. Now that you have done that, remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.